Now we're going to talk about power reducing formulas. So here are the formulas uh, for power reducing. Now what these are for is these are primarily useful in uh, calculus 2 uh, if you take that because sometimes it's harder to do a calculus operation if you have a square on it than if you just have it raised to a first power. So a lot of times what you might have to do is take something that has these different higher powers and take it down to like a single power and it'll make it easier for you to do the calculations. So with that, here's the three different formulas, sine squared, cosine squared, tangent squared. We have the formulas written uh, for all those, make this a little bit clearer. Okay, so now we're gonna use power reducing formulas to rewrite cosine to the fourth power. They want it in terms of first powers of cosine. So we have to use these formulas and take it down to where I have cosine to the first power. It's going to be equivalent, it'll be exactly the same as cosine to the fourth, but it'll just be written in terms of first powers. Okay, so the first thing we want to do with cosine to the fourth power is we want to think of that as cosine squared theta times cosine squared theta. That's what we're going to do first. Now if you have cosine squared and cosine squared, what that's going to allow you to do now is to use two different power reducing formulas. In this case, we're not going to use the sine of the tangent. Uh, we're just going to use this one twice. So let's go ahead and put that in 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 and then 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. So let's put that in. So now we got that uh, written twice. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do now that we have this complete is we're going to uh, now uh, multiply those. Uh, so we're going to, uh, we want to get rid of the two theta is ultimately what we want to do because we want to write it as just cosine of just theta only. So that's the, where we want to reach. So let's go ahead and multiply those out. We're going to uh, expand this, multiply across the top, across the bottom. So if we do that next, we're going to get one plus, we have two of these, we have a two cosine two theta plus cosine squared two theta, and all that's gonna be over uh, four. Okay, so now we have uh, that one. Okay. Next, we're going to separate all these and divide all of them by four. So I'm gonna do one fourth plus one half cosine two theta plus cosine squared two theta over Four. So we're just taking all of them, dividing them uh, by four, and that's going to be our next step. Okay. We're going to now uh, work with this one. It's another one that has a cosine squared in it. Okay, so I want to use another power reducing formula for that one. So the first two, I'm going to keep them the same. So one quarter and one half cosine. 2 theta, that's okay the way it is, okay? Uh, the next, last thing is we'll work with this one. Now, I have a 1 fourth that I'm going to put out front there. And then we're just gonna work with cosine squared 2 theta. Now, what you notice about these formulas is whatever you have here, it's double that amount in the formula on the other side. So when I rewrite this one, I'm gonna have 1 plus cosine of instead of 2 theta because it was originally 2 theta, I'm going to make that 4 theta and that's going to be over 2. So now I've applied that a formula uh, one more time there. And so the last thing we're going to do is we just multiply those out and you get 8 in the bottom and that's really as far as you can go with your answer. 1 quarter plus 1 half cosine 2 theta plus 1 plus cosine 4 theta running out of room here, 4 theta all over uh, 8. So now we have this. Uh, there is one more step that we can do with this one. Uh, let's go ahead and, and divide top and bottom by 8. So we're going to have 1 quarter plus 1 half cosine 2 theta plus, we're going to do 1 eighth plus cosine 4 theta divided by 8. And so now we got a 1 quarter and a 1 eighth and so the one quarter is like, that's like a, a, a two eighths. So two eighths and one eighth is going to give you three eighths. So now we can take it down to three eighths plus one half cosine two theta plus
cosine four theta all over eight. So this one right here, this would be as far as you have to take it. So the reason why we couldn't leave it in this form is because you're multiplying two different things together and, and that's not gonna be acceptable uh, there. What they're looking for is they want you to take it down to uh, a sum or a difference here of cosines raised to the first power. So now this one would be good because we have, uh, these are separate terms and the cosines are both raised to the first power. So this would be your final answer.